good morning all today we are going to discuss about the design of spark gears and its applications everything in this in the unit 2 of design of transmission systems again myself st arjun assistant professor rohini college of engineering and technology so this is a simple schematic representation of a spark gear <coughs> so before jumping into the topic we can get a simple introduction about gears so gears are toothed wheels used for transmitting motion and power from one shaft to another <coughs> when they are not too far apart so compared with belt chain and friction drives gear drives are more compact and they can operate at very high speed so it is used for large power to be transmitted so that is the main purpose of using gear drives so the definition of a gear drive is it is a circular body of cylindrical shape or that a shape of a frustum of a cone and of uniform small width having teeth of uniform formation provided on its outer circumferential surface is called as a gear or toothed gear or toothed wheel so there are different types of gears these are the a schematic representation of different types of gears so now we can see the classification of gears so the classification based on a relative position of the shaft the first one is parallel shaft and next one is intersecting shafts the in parallel shafts the examples are spur gear helical gear rack and pinion etc for intersecting shafts there is a spiral gears and bevel gears the second one is the classification based on the relative motion of the shaft row gear planetary gear next the classification based on peripheral speed that are low velocity gear medium velocity gear high velocity gear based on the different range of velocities mentioned here then the classification based on the position of the teeth on the wheel the stride gears helical gears herringbone gears, curved teeth gears and classification based on types of gearing, external gearing, internal gearing, rack and pinion so this is then a gear nomenclature here you can see the outer outside circle, circular pitch, tooth thickness, width of space, pitch circle, clearance circle, addendum, didendum, face width, flank, bottom, land, face, everything is mentioned here the terminology pinion pitch circle pitch circle diameter etc so all those things which we have seen in the nomenclature has been explained here the pressure angle so it is the angle between the common normal to two gear teeth at the point of contact and the common tangent at the pitch point the standard pressure angle will be um, approximately 14 degrees to 20 degrees so the path of contact it is the path traced by the point of contact of two teeth from the beginning to the end of the engagement the second is length of path of contact it is the length of the common normal cut off by the addendum circle of the wheel and pinion so the arc of contact is the path traced by the point on the pitch circle from the beginning to the end of the engagement of the given pair of teeth the velocity ratio is given here the advantages are there is no slip so exact velocity ratio is obtained it is capable of transmitting large power than that of the belt or the chain drive it is more efficient it requires less space it can transmit motion at very low velocity which is not possible in the belt drive the limitations of using chain drive sorry uh, gear drive the manufacture of gear requires special tools and equipments the manufacturing and maintenance costs are comparatively high the error in cutting teeth may cause vibration and noise during operation the gear materials there are many materials for example metallic materials is steel it is the most widely used material used for manufacturing different types of gears the next one is cast iron it is also very good machinability and moderate me mechanical properties so it is one it is the second most used uh, material 
then bronze it is mainly used in bomb gear drives non metallic materials like wood rawhide compressed paper synthetic resin like nylon are also used the advantages of using non metallic materials are noiseless operation cheaper in cost the selection of the gear materials are based on that points given here the types of service method of manufacture wear and shock resistance space and weight limitation safety and other consideration peripheral speed degree of accuracy required cost of material high load impact load longer life requirements there are different types of gear manufacturing that are gear milling gear generation shaping molding so die casting sintering so like many different methods are available for producing a gear now we can see the design procedure for designing a spark gear first we have to calculate the gear ratio that is the maximum minimum speed divided by maximum speed then we have to select the suitable material then we have to calculate the initial design torque then we have to calculate the stresses related to the gear then we have to calculate the center distance then we have to say se selection of number of teeth on pinion and gear we have to choose for designing a spur gear then we have to calculate the module then we have to revise the center distance that we have to calculate the exact center distance then we have to calculate face width diameter of the pitch circle diameters pitch line velocity so these uh, every formulas are available in the design data book prescribed by psg then we have to select the quality of gear so uh, we have to select the is quality of the gear after selecting the is quality of the gear we have to finalize the design torque after that we have to check for the bending stress as well as we have to check for the wear strength finally we have to calculate the basic dimensions of the pinion and gear so with this i will conclude the topic today and see you in the next topic in another video thank you